me i would say i am a wife a mother a daughter an aunt a friend and also a very ambitious career woman so of course you know i i find it sometimes very challenging to balance all these different roles but blessed with beautiful mentors and family members who help me sail through so overall um, starting from my childhood i was blessed to have a beautiful childhood uh, my parents were the set of best parents one could expect mom very loving caring giving dad you know wanting to ensure that i become an independent woman i think since i was um, 12 maybe he was very clear how you know everything is important he wasn't those kind who would say that oh you are a girl so you know learn to cook and clean the house no he ensured i learned that too but he always pushed me to do more and more in my professional life also and then you know i was lucky to get a husband who was also very clear that you should have a professional life rather there were times you know when our son was born and me being that finicky mom trying to be perfect wanted to quit my job but he was very clear that no you know you're good at what you do you love it it's your passion so just continue so overall you know i think it my life has been a piece of cake but one thing i'm trying to change now is i feel like when i was in grade 12 or in my school years i didn't have a big dream it was you know like we were in a typical band pattern of become a doctor or an engineer i didn't want to cut anyone so i chose to become an engineer and there was a part of me who always uh, was very connected with fashion i used to really enjoy you know different styles and everything so in grade 12 i even tried to appear for nift exam but what happened my engineering results came sooner i got through a decent college and i just gave up and so now you know very uh, some people may find it weird but i started to feel like that there is no age to dream and i would say i have bigger dreams than what i had back then and i am trying to do everything that i can do to achieve those overall uh, my uh, professional journey because i picked up engineering and in software uh, it started with uh, being a developer and thoroughly enjoyed it i used to really enjoy coding i would sit in a corner and code for hours and hours and then you know uh, i was in a techno functional role very soon and then slowly slowly moved to business analysis did a little bit of user experience primarily research and information architecture and ever since have been in the product world so i feel um, in a way it's it's a unique or very enriching journey because it's garden the opportunity to play every key role in software development or product development and last couple of years have been very focused into artificial intelligence and um, truly enjoying it uh, world is innovating at such a rapid pace i think there's a lot to experiment innovate and explore new horizons in that space so every morning i do wake up with a very excited feeling that what to do and overall also i think i just simply adore what i do it's it's we get to solve um, tough challenges with wonderful teams on day to day basis to deliver impact so i don't think i can ask for anything more to be satisfied in professional life and now you know uh, on uh, some trends and what i would suggest to some people around So first of all you know technology has become very very sector we can see right like as you just mentioned that something which could have been face to face is now virtual so i've i've realized especially post covid that technology is very central to everything so people should definitely try to upskill themselves in tech space i hear it very often still that oh i'm not a technical person i don't understand it as much and so i don't mean that you have to become experts in every area but like basic know hows like for example if you were into software development artificial intelligence is here to stay for forever literally so you should pick up some i would suggest that you pick up some say basic courses on the power of possible like what are all the new things which are available in artificial intelligence like say today we have uh, uh these virtual uh, sorry voice assistants you know for example alexa siri so many others 
it was a possibility earlier by the regular ways of coding so i think it's important that we understand how natural language processing works how machine learning works what are deep neural networks so that we know what's the power of possible and how can we solve these old problems in new possible ways and i think second thing which is really changing is of course working from home which was a the norm uh, i'll be very honest like i am an extrovert every every test i've given it's always thank like an extreme end of extroversion so initially it was a struggle but now i figured my sweet spot and it is there were three things which really worked for me and i i hope you know others might benefit from this as well so first thing was i did decorate my workplace because i realized that when you walk into work especially if you're blessed with beautiful offices it's like green white pretty so i was like okay i appreciate that so let me just try to replicate it at home so i decorated my workspace there was number one number two um avoid distractions i just realized that at home especially for women in this indian setup you have lots of distractions sometimes there will be your kid coming in husband doorbell even the courier guys these days feel that you are at home so you must give the otp the moment they ring the bell so it's kind of strange so i just realized that i need to do more to avoid distractions and that's where you know i did couple of things like there was very clear that you know, these are the hours when you have to consider i'm not at home. like this interview everyone in my home knows that they have to consider like i'm not at home and i don't exist and i actually switched off my phone also so like that's that's the second thing then the third thing is define very clear boundaries so what i realized was and it's for ourselves right like thankfully i am blessed with a family who's very understanding beat my husband my son and even the domestic helps i have they would want me to reach the moon and you know just get everything i want in the world so even in this very supportive family i think it was for me to define boundaries like i need me time i need to talk to friends i need to ensure that you know if i i really believe in learning that i'm doing those things on regular basis so i i call it like that help me in a way which is like uh, define your boundaries avoid distractions and decorate your workplaces <laughs> Yeah, no, I've had lots and lots of learnings for sure, and uh, every like now I think uh, one of the biggest learning or the biggest way I've changed is earlier there would be you know you would get into that self pity mode that why is this happening to you? I think the transition from self pity to self love has been amazing, and I've realized how self pity will always limit you. however when you get to that stage of self love there is no glass ceiling and so some of the specific things um, you know which i would want to share uh, with the viewers is first of all um having tough conversations i think in general at least you know my journey was such that uh, whenever i was facing something i would try to maybe blame think about it in different ways but did not have those tough direct conversations initially while i'm a very vocal courageous person in general but i think when it comes to you know some of the things that hurt you you always hesitate to talk which is one thing i've learned not to do so two very clear examples there so once there was this leader and i was the only person in the room who was a woman so there were about you know 10 of us in the team and including that leader and he was a male and he would you know roll his eyes while talking and the only person he wouldn't look at in the room was me so first time second time third time fourth time and i think i spoke with three or four different people and by the end of the fourth meeting i was like nothing doing but i'm going to have that direct conversation and otherwise and to be honest i think that one behavior of his made me feel like you know he does not give me full importance and things like those but then i sat down with him and i literally said it to him in as many words uh and and there this one good lesson i learned long time back that stick to facts not to inferences so i tried to do that i went there and i said um mr xyz i have a problem to share and i did not sandwich anything because the other thing i learned was do not ever sandwich your feedback 
and that person looked at me finally <laughs> into my eyes and he was like what happened jashna like you know what it's been fourth meeting in a row and i just do not like that you don't look at me when we have these meetings and it was unbelievable what he said he said that i was i have been schooled in a all boys school and my family is very kind of a male dominated family in general so it is my journey to be comfortable with strong independent women like you so it has nothing to do with you but it is more to do with my journey and i think ever since there was no looking back in our relationship as a leader and a person working with him and and i just realized that it's so important to have these conversations which may seem tough but once you just open up it just opens a beautiful new horizons for you so that was one then the second thing i have realized that just don't stop learning learn 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 there is no single day in last 2 to 3 years that i wouldn't have spent at least 30 minutes in learning so and i go pretty wide you know sometimes i would just read about health and food fitness some days i would even read about psychology of course a lot of days i read about ai because that's an that's a space that excites me even there are few days when i would read about spirituality and lately these days i'm reading a lot about styling and ai in parallel so i think pick anything but i feel learning shouldn't ever ever stop that's the second one then the third one is make friends and before that be a good friend yourself i know people tag it as networking and they say network to grow and all that i would rather call it as making friends because the moment you say network it seems like you're going there with some selfish motive and at least being um, an extrovert i just like i just love being around people and having friends so felt that you know just by virtue of being there for each other you just create such a beautiful system support system that today whatever i think about you know if i think about doing anything in any space i have friends there to talk about and help me through the journey the third thing which i've learned in life is just make friends be there for your friends be there for each other and life will be good so i would say the first thing that comes to my mind is the support system as i shared that uh, earlier my parents my family was pretty supportive they was lucky to get married to wipul and then even my son jaden i think we have a very uh, conducive environment at home like even now if it's a saturday morning and if jaden has something and wipul has something to do they would ensure that they make all the space for me to get into this interview i would literally say it's um, they've helped me create a role model family where it, between bipul and i we do everything 50-50 which is very very rare to find at least i haven't seen much in indian families here so i'm blessed to have that kind of environment and even my son like he wouldn't come cribbing or crying uh, or whining over something while he knows i'm in an interview he would just secretly open the door and wish me luck and so i would say this huge support system has helped me achieve whatever i've achieved in life and of course beautiful mentors i've been blessed with some of the best mentors on this earth more so its mentorship is more so for me paid forward as i was sharing right like my family has been an amazing mentor then uh, my husband and son has been an amazing mentor after marriage and even some of the best friends right i have like this two best of the friends who have really really supported me through any journey and so it was more like you know how do you pay it forward i'm so blessed that even some of the executive coaching i get for free for some of from some of the best mentors on this earth so it's it's more about paying it forward so what i've realized is that even 30 minutes of an expert time can help people go long way and i would call mentorship more as partnership so uh, i would have engaged with about 100 plus people in last 2 years and i want to do way more i want to give 30 minutes every day in paying forward and i've realized that even 30 minutes help you go a long way and you learn so much in the process so these mentorship sessions have become more of partnership for me so one latest example is that i talked to this uh, girl who's appearing for 12th grade exams lately 
and how we started talking was also because she was amazing at handling her beagle and we got a new beagle and i was like you know very iffy about how to handle oliver and so she was so great at it that i learned so much from her and then we started talking and the while you know just by the virtue of being on the earth for more years than her i've been able to give her some advice but i've been able to learn so much from her like you know how to use instagram how to manage all of her so i i believe i i would say mentorship is more of partnership and if we could give more time to that i think we can really touch way more souls by getting benefited ourselves also in the journey.